Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to get a Pokemon Mini emulator for your R4. So keep in mind, this works on pretty much every R4, and obviously this works on all DS consoles, right up until the 3DS. So all you guys want to do, just get your R4 card, take out your micro SD card, connect this to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. Okay guys, so over on your PC, there will be a link in the description. Now there's actually a bit of a weird thing while downloading this. I couldn't download the file using Google Chrome. Google Chrome just kept on blocking it and saying it was a virus, so I'm using Microsoft Edge instead. But anyway, all you want to do when you're on the file trip page is just click download file and then start download. Obviously it's not a virus because it's literally just a .nds file, so we're going to do uh, just save as, and then I'm just going to save it in my downloads folder. So now once you've downloaded the file, this is the latest version, just go to your downloads folder and you'll be able to find it in there. So all you want to do is just right click and extract here on the zip file. So it's going to give you two files, just the Pokemon Mini.nds and then a readme file. If you go inside the readme file, it just tells you about the latest version and all the controls and everything like that. You will also need a Pokemon Mini ROM. Right here I've just got Pokemon Party Mini, Slow King's Judge. Um, so it's up to you where you've got your ROMs from, they're all over the internet, they're easy to find. Um, so what you want to do now guys is literally just copy these two files to the root of your SD card. So just drag and drop them across. I've already got them, so I'm just going to replace it. And then it should look something like this. So you should have your game right here, and then just your Pokemon Mini emulator. So that is it for the PC. Now I'll go back onto my R4 and show you guys what to do next. Right, so back off the PC, obviously, we just want to put our micro SD card back into the R4, and then put your R4 into your DS. So I will be using the original Fat DS in this video. Um, this emulator works perfectly fine on all DS systems. So let's just start up the R4. So it brings you to a screen like this, just select your micro SD card and then you'll be able to find it on the main menu. Just called Pokemon Mini.nds, press A and it will start up. So this is what the menu looks like, it's actually pretty cool. Um, there's a few options up here we've got, so we've got resume, load ROM, load state, save state, saves do work on this. Um, there's options as well, you can press A to go into stuff. As you can see there's lots of different stuff we can change in here. This is basically like the screen shade, uh, we've got LCD mode. Um, sound works on this as well, there's tons of different stuff that you can enable in here. So if you want change stuff and you want to save it, you just press A on save configs and then you press a B to go back to the main menu. So what we're going to do, we are going to load our ROM. So go up to load ROM, press A and it should come up right here. Uh, I got this slow king game so I'm going to press A on it and then the game should start. So as you can see, Pokemon Mini actually has an FPS counter up here which is pretty cool. Um, the games will rarely go below 60 FPS, which is really nice. So let's just play this game. There's all sort of these classic 8-bit games. Um, people do actually make custom ones, um, which are pretty cool. But yeah, they're actually really nice. Um, if you guys have never heard of this before, or you're interested, or you've never played the games, it's definitely worth getting the emulator for your R4, because I've been trying to buy one of these Pokemon Minis on eBay, and they actually go for a really high price. They're actually quite rare. But luckily, um, there's tons of ROM archives on the internet and stuff like that. So let's just play this game. I'm not too sure uh, what it is, actually. It looks like a tennis-type game, baseball. Oh, I think I have to press A to hit these balls every time. I have no idea. It reminds me of Flappy Bird, though. It looks like one of those really irritating games. So yeah, I kind of like the graphics on these games, it's like a really classic 8-bit game, uh, kind of like a Tamagotchi if you remember those. But yeah, you can actually press um, start, and that will just pause the game, and then if you press select, that will bring you back uh, to your main menu. So you can load other games and stuff like that, I only copied across one ROM, obviously you can copy across as many ROMs as you want. And once you're finished, you can go down to exit and just press A. So that is pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys it. I think it's pretty cool. Also, another cool thing you can do with your R4. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.